Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's little video, I'm actually just going to be going over the power probe and some of its basic functions, what a power probe is and what it's used for. So, a power probe is a circuit tester that eliminates the need to use jumper cables. So, with that being said, we're going to open up the, the case right here and we're going to go through and see what actually comes with the power probe. Now this is the power probe 3, there is also the power probe basic, the power probe uh, 4 and the power probe hook. So the power probe 3 is a combination of the basic and basically they added in like a, a digital uh, multimeter screen. So you're actually able to see the voltage and it performs a few other functions. But I'm only going to be going through the basic functions of the of the power probe today. So we're going to take, we're going to open. And what does the power probe come with? The power probe 3 I should say. So the power probe 3, it comes with a, uh, a 12 volt jack so you can actually use it inside the vehicle. It comes with a the fur uh, a secondary 20 foot lead. It comes with the power probe itself, and the power probe also comes with a 20 foot lead. So you have 40 40 feet of uh, of leads with the power probe. Now it comes with the well, we could call it the probe if you want. There. And it comes with a big alligator clips to hook onto the battery to power up the unit. So basically what this does is that it allows you to power up uh, components, test powers and grounds, and um, you can actually take and check uh, resistance and continuity with it also. So it, it's a pretty useful tool. And this is only the Power Probe 3. If you go on the Power Probe 4 and the hook, there's way more functions into them. But this will get you through most of all your diagnostics with with these. Now there is only one way to plug uh, these wires into each other. So you can't mix them up, so you cannot short, uh, short it out internally. We're gonna take, we're gonna hook it up to my little 12 volt battery. And it just powered up. So, so now we're going to take the probe piece. We're going to put the probe piece on, and then we're going to take and remove the tip. Now, the, there's a way to, for testing your power probe just to see if it's still working properly. You take your ground lead because uh, the power probe actually has a ground lead that is constantly grounded to the battery. So wherever you are, you always have a good ground, which is a pretty useful feature. So you take your ground lead, hook it up to the tip of the power, the power probe, and as you can see, it lit up green. So that's telling me that my ground lead is good. Now if you want to test your circuit breaker to make sure your circuit breaker still works, take and hit the power flick up, and you will add power to it. And now when you add power to it, it will trip a breaker. Let me show you guys that. There you go. So now it just tripped the breaker. Now there's a couple of seconds before you can actually push the breaker back in to let everything cool down. And if you heard, it just clicked. So that means you can take and push it back in. And that's how I test my power probe, just to make sure that it still works. So we're gonna bring the battery over and give you guys a good little visual. I'll try my best. So if I take it and I touch on ground, you're gonna see that it lights up green right here. If I take it and I touch on power, I don't know if you guys can see, probably not. It might be a little too bright. Let's take that and move on. If you guys can see, right here, it is lighting up red. So that's telling me that I have 12 volts, or uh, whatever battery voltage is, or whatever voltage that your circuit, the circuit you are testing is right there. And if you come here, well, it's testing at uh, the ground, and you see zero volts, so that tells you that there's no voltage onto that and that it is a, a good ground. Oh, we're gonna bring the light back. All right, so 
with the Proud Pro, but its main function is to actually take and power up components. Now, the Power Pro can do more than just power up component, components, and I am actually going to show you guys that at the same time. I have a 12 volt battery, and what we are going to do is just power up a motor. We're going to power up a relay. And we are going to power up a light bulb. So I have three components and each component draws a different amount of current and each component uh, has a different amount of resistance. So we're actually going to take them. We're going we're gonna to power up the, the motor, a relay, and a light bulb. And then after that, I'm going to show you another little feature of the power probe to test to see if there is an open into a motor or a light bulb. And you can even test if there's an open into a relay. So. With that being said, we're going to get started and we're going to start with the motor. So we're going to take the ground lead that's onto the power probe. We're going to take them, we're going to hook it up to one side. Now, be advised that if the motor is still into a vehicle that you are testing, do find the proper polarity. So if this is your ground, stick it here. If this is your ground, stick it over here. Just to make sure that the motor is operating the way it's supposed to. And do not try and power up a starter uh, directly with the power probe, you will blow the, the breaker every single time. Just a little note. So we're going to take the power probe, we're going to stick it onto the motor. We're going to add power to it. And the motor turns on. So. Now, we're going to do the same thing with the light, light bulb. We're going to take the ground. We're going to stick it on one side. And we're going to take and hold it on. And the same thing, we are going to take and just light it up quickly. Go on blind this so There you go. Okay, and I'll just show you guys. Rock her up, rock her down. So that's adding power. Now you can I don't have anything here to actually be able to show you guys adding ground. So we're gonna just go ahead and retest the, now we're gonna do the same thing with the relay. Now for the relay, so you guys can actually see that the, it does power up a relay. I'm actually just gonna take my multimeter at the same time and I'm going to hook it up onto continuity just so it gives you guys an audio, audible sound, audible sound that it is actually working. We're not measuring continuity or anything. We're just taking in there testing it. So to, for a relay to work, you need a control side and you need the load side. Now your control side is going to be pins 85 and 86, which I don't know if I'll be able to show you guys, probably not. No. But on this relay right here, pins 85 and 86 are right here. That's my a control and my load side are right here and right here. So what I'm going to do is add power and ground onto this side and I'm going to hook my multimeter up to pins 30 and 87 and by doing so we will be able to hear when it actually turns on. This pin. And if you take and listen. Okay. And I'll just bring the multimeter over for you guys. go. I'm going to take and try that again. It looks like a mess of wire, sorry about that, but just trying to get a, uh, show you guys how it works. There you go. Okay, so that's powering up a motor, a relay, and a light bulb. Now, there is another little feature with the power probe, and I, I like this feature, and it helps me out a lot in my diagnostics, especially when I'm trying to diagnose if it's a motor issue or if it's a wiring issue. With that being said, we're going to take and uh, here's a nice little feature with the power probe. So we're going to take and we're going to hook it up. Uh, let's just say that this is your fuel pump. We're going to hook it up on the ground side and then we're going to take and we're going to hook it up onto the, uh, the power side. So if you watch my power probe, when I touch the power side, you're going to see that it grounds. Okay. And now that ground is actually going through the pump and coming out onto the power side. Okay, and that tells me that my uh, that my uh, windings inside are okay, and that it's actually testing continuity all the way through it. You see, that's the continuity tester. 
Now, just because it's lighting up doesn't mean that the that there is not a high resistance inside the pump, but it does give you a good idea. Now, if I take and I add power, it should work. And if you see, my power side lights up and my voltage goes to battery voltage. So that tells me that there's 12 volts that's being produced on the set. Now I'm gonna do the exact same test and what I'm gonna do next is actually take and put a resistor, oh, sorry. Onto the end. Now the resistor, the resistance of the resistor show you guys that also this one is 2.3 oh, yeah 2.361 kilo ohms okay so now with this onto there I'm trying to remember yeah so when you have an open, so basically if you have like 2,000 ohms of resistance into, into something, it's basically going to be an open and you'll actually be able to see that with the meter, with the, the power probe. So if you take and you, I'll take this up a little bit guys, sorry about that. There you go. Okay. Now, as I showed you a while ago, if you take and you touch, okay, you see how my ground light lights up. So that's telling me that the ground is actually passing through the through the motor. Now, if I take and I touch on my resistor, which is right here, just to give you guys an idea, it does not light up. And if I add power, nothing happens. So if you ever you guys are using a power probe onto a motor and or a component, and you guys are testing and you have ground on one side and you don't have, uh, turn on the continuity here. And if you don't see that the ground lights up, okay, that's uh, past the resistor and this is uh, at the resistor. And if it doesn't light up and it does not sound, you more than likely have an open into the, into the motor and it's gonna end up need, be needing to be replaced. Okay, and uh, it is uh, foolproof, okay, there's no, uh, okay. Sorry about that guys. So now I actually have another resistor which it just produces a smaller amount of resistance but it's still pretty pretty big. I'm trying to figure out if it's this one. I want to try and give you guys the best possible cases. So this resistor is 680 ohms. Now we're gonna take we're gonna take the 680 ohm resistor and we're going to wrap it around the motor and now what we're gonna do is that we are going to take and we are going to touch on this resistor now as you can see the the light lights up okay and if I take and I press See that the motor does not turn on so that's telling me that there is a high resistance into the motor don't forget I'm gonna be this would be testing directly at the motor itself this is how you would test a, a motor or a component and that's it for that so the main question that is asked is that if you should own a power probe and me personally, my answer is yes. These are not very expensive. I think this one, I've had this one for a couple of years now, but I think you can get them for about $80, $90 Canadian. So for $80 or $90, and that's a Canadian. So if you go with, this is for the Power Probe 3. You can get the Power Probe Basic, which basically has all the same features, but it doesn't have the, the screen. The amount of time that is saved by using one of these tools and add that to your diagnostic arsenal uh, you will see that it's not money that's going to be wasted 
and that you can actually do quite a bit with this. So I can test continuity with this, and I can test voltage with this, and I can test for opens, I can test for shorts, and all that is done through this. And all you gotta learn is how to read and interpret what is going on with this. Now, with that being said, it does come with uh, LEDs, so it lights up your area pretty pretty bright. I'll turn off my light for you, just to give you guys an idea. Okay, well here's the relay, and there you go. They are pretty bright, and they do light up the area that you are trying to test. And like I said, the, the Power Probe 3 kit that I got, it came with uh, everything that you see here, and it is a very good tool. I, I actually love it, it works very, very well. There's a lot of advantages and not very many disadvantages with this tool. So, um, with that being said, I'm going to leave you guys be, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, please like, subscribe, comment, and I will be leaving a link in the description on where you guys can actually go and purchase this. So. You guys have a good day and I will see you guys next time.